Hi guys, it's me, the Witch of Boise, and Marley in the background, if you hear her croaking, because <laughs> she croaks instead of meows. It's me, the Witch of Boise, and um, I'm here to do a weekly tarot forecast. This is going to be for October 25th through October 31st. Super exciting! So make sure that you do check out my channel. I did the entire, I pulled all of these cards, okay, Come on, there we go. I pulled all of these cards in a video that was the entire month of October. So this is just going week by week, but the, all of those cards were pulled on that video. So make sure that you do check that out. Okay, let's just begin. Let's just dive right into it. So October 25th, 2020, that is a Sunday. We have the 10 of bats in reverse. Now for this deck, bats are swords. This is becoming this, I hate this card upright. The 10 of swords is very um, detrimental. I don't like it. Um, a lot of times it does signify physical death um, on things. Doesn't mean all of the time. I just don't like it. Um, and it's just really a sad um, card. This is probably one of my favorite card placements, which is the 10 of swords in reverse. And um, on typical, uh, um, the typical deck showing the imagery is a person, okay, careful, thank you, is um, a person laying on the ground, they are face down and there's 10 swords in their back. So, with it being in reverse, those swords are falling out of that back. They're falling out of um, that betrayal. So there's definite healing energy and being able to pick yourself up and move forward on things. This is a beautiful card. Um, I This is probably like one of my favorite cards. I love Ten of Cups. That's probably my favorite minor arcana. This is my second, which is the Ten of Swords in reverse. Um, but this is just a time of healing. There's just going to be a lot of energy of what has hurt you in the past is no longer going to hurt you because you're healing from it. This is big, big energy. And that is on the 25th. Um, I also want to mention that there is one major arcana in this week as well. So we'll get to it there, but that's going to be a major day. But this is major, major energy on October 25th. Now we have Monday, October 26th. We have the seven of ghosts. And ghosts in this um, deck are cups. So it is the seven of cups. And with Seven of Cups, it is about choices. So this is about different options that are going to be coming into your life that you'll need to actually just pick one of them. And you pick a couple of them. But there's going to be something that is coming and it is like an emotional aspect where you have to make sure that you pick and choose wisely. Um, Hold on. My neighbor is cooking something and is obviously burning because the fire alarm's off. And my poor little Marley has has she has PTSD over fire alarms after one of the apartments I was was living in with her. Long story short, sorry, <laughs> but yes, seven of cups for October 26th, 2020. So choices. There's, there is also, it's um, the different choices that are going to be coming up and making sure that you're not living in a fantasy. This card, um, I believe is ruled by Neptune and um, Neptune is that kind of really mysterious um, energy and it becomes a thing where it might be um, uh, it's almost like moon energy where it, something might not be as it appears. And this is kind of the, also the warning with these choices. Sometimes the easiest choice 
isn't really the easiest option. So it's just making sure that you are being level-headed in all of your decision making and just knowing that maybe things aren't as they appear to be. Um, that can be also like, why is this person mad at me? Why does this person hate me? Me, 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 me. And um, that can be that energy of maybe they have something going on in their life and they really aren't thinking about you in that way. So it's just keeping that and making sure that you are making level-headed choices. Okay, now we have Tuesday, October 27th, 2020, and this is Four of Ghosts. So Four of Cups, there's a funk that's going on. Um, it feels like that there's all these emotional choices that are coming and brewing up during this time. And you might be having a really hard time focusing on the positives, focusing on your um, blessings of what you have. So um, it's definitely a funk card. So as you can see, this little boy is there and there's these four ghosts that are trying to have a, have a party and include this person and they're just like not having it. And it's almost like they're contemplating what has happened to them, what is wrong with them. So it's making sure that um, on Tuesday, the 27th, making sure that you are um, uh, uh, living in the present. Stop going into the past of what has happened and just truly live in the present because you're going to have love all around you. You're going to have people all around you in that sense that care about you and you just have to let that crap go. So just make sure that if you start feeling yourself go into a downward spiral, it's let's focus out of it. Get a little safe word. You can use mine. It's surfboard. When you start going down, <laughs> doing a downward spiral and things aren't going your way and you just feel like everything that's coming out of your mind or your mouth is very negative, Nancy, and just do that safe word, surfboard. Okay, so let's snap out of it. Let's look around the, the my environment. So like, for example, here, let's surfboard, got me out of it. Let's look at this pumpkin right here. Oh my gosh, how cute is it? And then go down that path. And that sense of like, let's think about pumpkins. I love Halloween. I love the fall. I love carving pumpkins. What was the pumpkin I carved last year? That was really fun. So it's it's a way of getting yourself and diverting that energy. But, you know, it's it's we can't run away from our feelings because all feelings are valid. You can't help how you feel. But... There is a way of getting into that downward spiral and that is probably the best way of doing it is surfboard, your safe word, look around and then go into that direction of let's redirect and let's think of positive aspects and let's get ourselves in a more joyful um, like headspace. Okay, so then on Wednesday, yes, Wednesday, October 28th, we have the King of Bats. This is the King of Swords. This is very interesting. So this can be um, you are in charge of your thoughts. This can be something where it's like, I'm not going to let myself get into a downward spiral. Um, the King of Bats or King of Swords is a very serious kind of dry humor um, masculine energy doesn't necessarily have to be a man, but um, it can be that person is coming into your life or someone of that. This is also air sign. So it can be um, a Gemini, uh, Aquarius, or a Libra. Um, and it's just being um, the, the energy of this coming in on Wednesday, the 28th is just like your mind is clear, you're clear and concise. And it's just like, there's not a whole lot of ruffles. It's really straight to the point. And sometimes that's just how it is. Like you, you have to, you can't be like all the time, you know, it's making smart choices and um, being clear with it. Clear cut is what I'm kind of getting where it's that sword energy where it's like, nope, 
this is what's going to be done. So it's just really kind of cleaning up house in an, uh, an emotional sense and with your mind as well, which I think that four of ghosts the day before, which is past dwelling and you kind of get into your emotions that way. This is definitely not the emotions. This is very much like we're getting down to business. This is what it is. So be be aware that that energy is going to be either present to you or is going to be someone that is going to be coming into your life on October 28th, 2020. All right. Now this is the only major arcana this week. And that's going to be for Thursday, October 29th. It is beautiful energy. It is our Empress. This is the quintessential um, feel in your oats. You are a woman and um, having that intuition. This is very much dealing with things at home or um, that like I also view like your body is your home, your soul is your home. It's that kind of energy of just making sure you are nurturing yourself and you're nurturing your home aspect. And again, it doesn't necessarily have to be like your home of where you live. This can be soul work. This can be um, also just taking care of yourself um, physically and just maybe getting a new mindset of things. Um I do want to also just be um, with this week and what I'm getting because um, I'm just getting this energy. This whole month is, is screaming <laughs> like this is how your month's going to be with your boy see. This is just what it is. So um, I do feel like with some of our single people that with this king of bats that's happening on the 28th is going to really come into your life and you're going to really feel like you are like the queen. You are the empress that, you know, you you don't need a man. And that's going to be very delightful to this king of bats energy where it's like, I don't have to, you're not looking for like a sugar daddy or anything like that. It's I can do everything on my own. You can appreciate it and join me or you can just step aside. It's fine doesn't hurt my feelings any. And that's that Empress energy. Also, I just want to mention that the Empress card is number three. So this is just, it's, I honestly feel like a lot of this is going to be um, the time when the veil is the thinnest between uh, the physical plane and the spiritual plane. Um, that, and with the number three as well, I feel like this is when you're really going to start to um, hear and really confirm that you are um, hearing from people that have passed on. So be open to receiving those messages. And um, also, this is just a good time to um, spiritually cleanse your house, getting some sage as well. Um, because, yeah, you will be having spiritual visitors the next um, six days, um, including that like afterwards, for sure. Okay, now we have um, October 30th, and this is a Friday. It is the seven of imps. This is seven of uh, wands, and that in the reverse. So we have, um, I'm drawing a blank with seven of wands. Just hold on one second. I'm so rusty. I haven't done this for a little. Don't mind me. I'm just a ding dong. Um, <laughs> there's like a couple cards that are like this. <laughs> and it's the sevens too. Like the sevens of cups. Like I had a oh, <laughs> remembering what that was but seven of imps is um it's a lot like the um nine of wands but the seven of wands is a very defensive energy um in the witch's tarot it is a um it's depicted as a man that has a wand and is like beating off people <laughs> Okay. 
defensiveness. There's going to be um, people that might you might feel like that they're attacking you and that you have to like constantly defend yourself. And it's like with the nine of, of wands, it's kind of like the last bit of it. But the seven of wands is when you really start to feel defensive. Now with this being in the reverse, the defensiveness is like your walls coming down. And it's okay to um, be open to criticism. I have a really hard time with it because I do get defensive when people criticize me and it's not even like from a bad place. They're just trying to help me out and I get really defensive of it. And it's just one of those things where it's, we have to make sure that we're open, that we all collectively are open into <laughs> criticism and um, that it's not for the most part, if it, especially if it's coming from a loved one, it's not coming from a bad place. They're wanting to see you succeed. And you know, sometimes their criticism is really helpful. Sometimes it's not. So when it's not, and you start to kind of feel that defensiveness that's coming up, uh, just, just know that it's not coming from a bad place. And instead of like saying anything, just be like, well, thank you for your input. And then just kind of move on from that. But it does feel like this Empress energy that was the day before is really lowering your, um, your guard down. So you don't have to be so defensive about everything. You don't have to be scrappy and have to fight, um, everything. And so, um, that is a really cool energy and like the the next card is I'm just telling you like this month is a good building month and then it's going to like propel into like awesomeness and I'm just I just have a feeling about it um it just it feels like that there's so much inner work that's happening in the month of October that things are just they're gonna start to turn your way so then we have Halloween, October 31st, 2020, a full moon as well. And you got the 10 of imps. This is 10 of wands in reverse. What an awesome, like awesome, awesome, awesome way of ending this month. Because 10 of wands in the upright is doing everything on your own. You're not asking for help. You feel like Everything that you're doing, it's a burden on to you. Burden is like, that's like the biggest um, uh, uh, meaning of the 10 of wands in the upright. With this 10 of wands in the reverse, that burden is no longer there because you are allowing people to come in that lowering your defensiveness and really embracing that empress energy you are becoming a, um, a community worker. And I, I, that's just what is coming into my mind where it's being more selfless. It's not just focusing on yourself and you can, you don't have to be carrying all of this emotional baggage. And it's not necessarily like, oh, well, I have all this emotional baggage. Here's someone that I can just share with and then they can share that burden too. No, it's actually really dealing with stuff and becoming that energy of this is no longer a burden. And having your week start off with the 10 of bats in reverse, that 10 of swords in reverse. So you're healing from things and ending on it with the 10 of wands, 10 of imps in reverse is such a beautiful beginning and ending of this week. Now this is just going to be a very, I just have this beautiful like energy that's coming off of this reading this last week of October. And it's just make sure that you just embrace yourself, that you don't focus on the past and that you just like be in your own empress energy of trusting your intuition and also being that strong leader, that empress energy and not having to be so defensive. You don't have to be scrappy. You don't have to fight 
every single battle, you can walk away from it. You don't have to deal with it in that kind of sense. There's some things that are worth fighting for, but then there's other things that just drain you and it's not going to go anywhere. You're just going to go around in a circle. And with those big burdens that you have, you're healing from it and you don't have to do this alone. All right, guys, that is it. That's all I have for you today. And that is October 25th through October 20 or 31st, 2020. Thanks so much. Make sure you do like this video, hit subscribe, also comment below. I'm um, really sorry about that poor choice of words for that seven of imps, but I do appreciate all of your support and I will see you soon. Bye.